Hello again, everybody. This is Comic Book Hangover. It is Friday. That means it's time once again for Full Run Friday. Now, as promised this week, I'm going to be doing a series called Nightmares and Fairy Tales. It's a series from Slave Labor Graphics that was published from 2002 to 2008. It was written by Serena Valentino, who currently, actually, if you go to uh, any bookstore and you see a series of books that have uh, um, Disney villains in them, those are all written by Serena Valentino. And I can tell you, having not read them myself, that they have got to be amazingly written books because uh, her Nightmares and Fairy Tales series was amazing. It, uh, it, 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 great stories, great characters, and was complemented by a couple of amazing artists. So we're, we're going to go ahead and flip this camera around. We're going to go through these. It's, it's only a 23 issue run plus uh, one or two issues of a follow up series. So this may not be a very long video but we'll do what we can so let's go ahead and get this started all right here we go so i got the box out again i'm still i still have a bunch of these long collection drawer boxes but i do really like these collection drawers so let's jump into nightmares and fairy tales so again it came out in 2002 uh the the, the basics of the story is you've got this this doll, this, uh, this little doll right here that this girl is holding. And her name is Annabelle. And she's basically, she, she's kind of sentient. Uh, she has her own thoughts and emotions. And throughout time, she has been passed from owner to owner, both adults and children owners. And uh, it seems like every time she gets a new owner, something bad happens to them. And so she and she retains the memories of her previous owners. Some of them she liked, and some of them she didn't. Uh, but she, she's always she's basically telling us the stories of these owners. Uh, she gets a new owner at the beginning of the first issue, I believe, and she starts telling her stories of what happened. Uh, now this one here is one of my favorites. This was basically um, some of the stories were uh, fairy tales, as, which is part of the name fairy tales, nightmares and fairy tales. So this one was Snow White. And as you can see, you know, she had her, uh, this one, this version of Snow White didn't uh, have the happiest of endings. She had her heart ripped out, but it's, it was just very well done. Uh, the art complemented the stories perfectly. The covers are just as gorgeous as the interior art is. Now, these first 12 issues were drawn by, uh, she, she tagged herself as capital F, capital S, lowercase c, uh, Fu Sui Chin. I'm not sure, you know, what she has done since. I'm sure, um, if, if if I think it's a girl, I'm gonna say, um, I, say we'll just say uh, FSC. I'm not sure what FSC has done since, but I'm sure that uh, this individual is doing something, and it is still absolutely spectacular because that is one of the things I remember specifically about the first twelve issues of this series was just the just the amazing art and. What made the art even better with the first 12 issues is that the story was quite dark, but the art was so elegant. You know, it was just so elegant. It was so sophisticated looking. It it didn't reflect the story, but it complemented the story amazingly. So with issue 12, we lose uh, FSC, and we get a new story and a new artist, Crab Scrambly. And this is the uh, 1140 Rue royale story uh, that's it's kind of a if i remember and we also get a new logo too uh, it's a uh uh like a ghost story and again we have annabelle telling the story and we have you know art that is vastly different from the from the previous issues but it still complements the story very well and we still get some amazing absolutely amazing covers uh i loved this one this it just it's just amazing uh so crab scrambly was the artist until issue 18 and then when crab left we got our final artist camilla uh de Erico, another just absolutely gorgeous artist and just uh i i just i i could talk about the art of the series for hours i mean but i, I really should talk about the writing the the story style it's uh, Serena Valentino, sh her style with this story, and she also, before I continue, um, she she was not new to comic books at this time. She had done another series for, I believe it was, it was also for Slave Labor Graphics, uh, called um, Gloom Cookie. That was another creation of hers. 
And here we got a, a Little Mermaid style story. Um, now her story, she she's really good at doing. Uh, I don't want to say like dark gothic style storytelling, but it is a definitely it's definitely a darker story style. But it works with the stories that she's telling. It's just, it, it's honestly, it is very very difficult to describe in words her writing style. You definitely have to check it out. Now I know, uh, nightmares and fairy tales, it it, it came to a rather abrupt end with issue 23 and then she was going to do uh, another story called Annabelle's Tale and as far as I know she only got the first issue done and then kept promising and even brought back FSC as, as the artist for it I was so super excited about this um, but you know she she did that first issue and then we never got anything else out of it so um, now aside from you know, it, it was really kind of disappointing i guess you could say with with um you know nightmares fairy tales coming to an end i mean it did had a really good run it ran for a couple it ran for like six years like 2002 to 2008 like i said before uh now if you're interested in this series which i do recommend i i, I if you like um you know sort of the uh you know the the I, I hate using the term gothic but you know i guess you could say gothic but if you like that style of storytelling and you're interested in checking out uh, Nightmares and Fairy Tales, there are a couple of trade paperbacks for it. Uh, there is Once Upon a Time. Now, this collects issues one through six, I believe. Let me check here. Let me double check here. Yep, number, issues one through six. And, you know, I can even, you know, with this, I can give you an idea of, you know, the art inside if I can get my little camera here to focus. Anyway, um, you know, you, you get some really interesting art styles here. But it's it's great. It's an amazing book. So you have that one, and the only I, I'm pretty sure they've done the entire run. But the only other one that I have is the second volume, Beautiful Beasts. This is issues seven through twelve. You know, some more. It's it's good. So these ones should be pretty available now. One thing also keep in mind is they're smaller than your regular comic book, so they're not they're not um, uh, trade they're not standard trade paperback. They're smaller. They're, they're a little bit bigger than digest size. So that's that. Let's go ahead and flip this camera back around and wrap this bad boy up. So yeah, that's uh that's Nightmares and Fairy Tales. I said it's it was an independent book. Um most of the cover prices were about three dollars and fifty cents, which was pretty normal for for uh, uh indie books back in the day. They were a little bit usually a little bit more expensive than your mainstream comic books were, but Nightmares and Fairy Tales, it's it's one of those books that I have been wanting to go back and reread for a long time. I just never really got around to doing it. And and quite honestly, uh, I had also kind of forgotten that I had these trades. As you can see from my uh, my shelves behind uh, behind me, I've got a lot of trades. So a lot of these do get buried in there. Almost like I got a lot of books in my collection that I'm, I'm pretty sure I've forgotten that I've, I even own. Um, to the point where I've got a couple of uh, duplicate issues of some of those. But uh, that said, thank you for uh, for joining me in uh, probably one of my shorter Full Run Friday videos. But nonetheless, Nightmares and Fairy Tales was an amazing series. It has some great art, great stories. I mean, we covered stuff like there was Snow White, there were uh, you know evil nuns, there were uh, I think, uh, there was a, a Little Mermaid style story, there was Beauty and the Beast, there was all these just really great stories and you know some of the characters did carry through some of them disappeared and then would show up later in the series but annabelle was a great idea was a great concept i really really wish serena valentina would come back and do when would either finish annabelle's tale which i would really love if she would finish annabelle's tale or give us another another you know story bring back fsc and give us another story in the world of nightmares and fairy tales either as a new mini series, or even as a one-off, as a as a one-shot, you know, a graphic novel would be great. I would love that. I mean, I just, it's it's such an amazing, oh, just a really well done story, a really well done concept. And I, I may actually reread some of those stories just to do you know standalone reviews on them at one time because it's just it's such a great book, and more people should know about it, especially this time of year. If you're looking for something that's a little bit different for your horror comic books, definitely check out Nightmares and Fairy Tales. So that said, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks again for watching. Uh, please like if you're a fan of Nightmares and Fairy Tales. If you've checked out Serena Valentino's Villains book, she's writing that whole line of Villains books for Disney Press. 
definitely check those out. I mean, if she does half as good on those books as she did on Nightmares and Fairy Tales, those books are amazing. Uh, but definitely check those out. Check out Nightmares and Fairy Tales. Um, if you like what I did here, if you're a fan of Nightmares and Fairy Tales, or if you're a fan of Serena Valentino or any of the amazing artists that worked on the book, go ahead and give me a like down below. I really, really, really greatly appreciate it. And I will see everybody on Monday with a, with a mini Monday. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. So it's going to be as much of a surprise as it is to you as it is to me, I guess we could say. So with that, I'm going to wrap this up. Everybody have an amazing weekend. I will see you all on Monday. And again, like, comment, subscribe, slap that notification button, and I will see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend.